Hi, my name is Esther, and I'm going to be showing you the settings in the Clarius app. These settings that we're going to go through will allow you to be more efficient and also give you longer battery life. To get to the settings, you press the Menu button in the left upper hand corner. Then you select Settings, and once we're there, the first three are already turned on, and I do recommend that those stay on. The right-handed controls are a personal preference. The right-handed control doesn't have anything to do with being right or left-handed. It's all about where your images appear on the screen. When it's off, as I have, my, my measurements will appear on the left hand of the screen. When it's turned on, your measurements will be on the right hand of the screen. As I continue to scroll down, after right-handed controls, the quick exam upload and the continue scan post capture are both off in your app right now. I turn those on so that I am more efficient in doing my exams. Quick exam upload, once you select to end the exams, it will automatically disconnect your scanner and upload the images to the Clarius Cloud. The continue scan post capture I recommend being on. And when it's turned on, after you've obtained a, a Cine capture, it will continue scanning. As I continue to scroll down, the next uh, item I like to cover are the image export settings. To select it, you press image export settings, and then you will see the overlays that will be included when you export your images. Already turned on for you in the app are the first seven, and I do recommend that those stay on. As I scroll down, the patient name is turned off in your app, as are all of these options. This is up to you and your institution of what you want to include when you export your images. For me, when I scan, I like to export the patient name as well as the date of the exam. Now we're going to arrow back and we're going to take a look at the on-screen display settings. As you're scanning the patient, what do you want to see as an overlay? Already turned on is the imaging depth and I recommend for that to stay on. That's very good for you to know the depth, for instance, or the length of a needle you'll need for the procedure. The next three are turned off. I recommend that those stay off. And as we come down to the top bar, as you're scanning the patient, what would you like to be at the top of the image? All of yours are turned off in your app at this time. Again, this is up to your institution and what you like to include. I have included the patient name as well as the last menstrual period for my OB patients. Once I've selected all of those, I will arrow back and I'm going to continue to scroll down to the uh, scanner section. When in the scanner section, a few of these are um, set up so that your battery will last the longest. The first one I recommend being off, and that's Auto Boot. What Auto Boot does, as soon as you insert your battery, this scanner automatically is activated and you can begin scanning. However, if you're like me, typically I insert the battery, I set it down, and I might start doing some paperwork. So I uh, recommend the Auto Boot boot be turned off so that your scanner's battery lasts longer. When the disable sound is off, that means that when you insert the battery, you will hear a beep beep sound. And I like to hear that so that I know that the battery has engaged in my scanner. Clarius Cast is um, a really great thing if you're doing obstetrics or your teaching institution. What you can do is through the drop down menu, if it's disabled, you would select institution. At that point, up to five people in your, in your clinic can download the app to their device. And as long as they're within a uh, range of the direct Wi-Fi of your scanner, they will be able to view what you're scanning. Again, this is 
great for residency programs, or in obstetrics where the mother would like to observe while you're scanning her baby. So that's Clarius cast. The next three, contact detection, autofreeze, and keep awake. Again, these three are about the battery life. The next is contact detection. The Clarius scanner is smart and it knows when it's not in contact with the patient. And it will slow down to a slower frame rate to preserve the battery life. I have a preference of 10 seconds, which is easily selected by going to the drop down menu and selecting 10. Next is auto freeze. How long do you want it to be before the scanner goes into a freeze mode? And again, this is personal preference. As you tap the drop down menu, you can see your options never. 10 seconds, 30, 60 seconds, or two minutes. I've selected 60 seconds. Keep awake is the next option. This is where your scanner will fall asleep. Once your scanner falls asleep, you will need to go through the direct Wi-Fi connect, which takes approximately 20 to 30 seconds. If you're performing procedures, I recommend that you keep this on 15 minutes. If you are not performing procedures such as vascular access, sterile techniques, I would recommend lowering that to preserve your battery life. So I'm going to select the drop down menu and I'm going to select five minutes. Next, I'm gonna be covering the button settings. This is a great thing for you as you're scanning. Programming the buttons allow you to freeze and store images without ever touching your iPad or your Android device, your phone. You do everything through the buttons on the scanner. I'm going to go ahead and select that. The button up, as I'm holding the scanner on a, the patient's skin, the button up is the one closest to the battery. You're going to scroll down Select user defined on the drop down menu. And for single click on the button up, I have my program to capture an image. If I double click that, I will take a Cine loop. You can program a triple click and a quad click. And there are quite a few options for you if you do decide to use that feature. I'm going to do the drop down menu and you can see that you are able to decrease the depth, increase the depth, turn on color, so much. So as you're uh, using your Clarius scanner, you'll probably find things that you would like to uh, store under those as well. As I continue to scroll down, I come to the button down. I'm going to go to the drop down menu, select user defined, and under single click is freeze. So as I'm scanning the patient, the button nearest the skin is my freeze button, and the button farther, furthest away from the skin is where I'm going to capture the image or the clip. I personally, I don't um, program any of the others on, on the button down, but if you'd like to, again, you select the drop down menu and you can select from a lot of these features, zoom, uh, flip your image, play and start your uh, cine loop, for instance, in B mode. Again, that's a personal preference, and as you're using your scanner, you may come up with other things that you would like to program there. As you scroll down, your button down and hold is, is programmed to shut off your scanner. I also recommend that your button up and hold, use the drop down menu and select shut down. This way, you don't need to remember which button that you can press and hold for three seconds to turn off your scanner. Once you've completed your exam, you're talking with the patient or working on your paperwork, you press and hold either button and then your, your scanner will be ready for the next patient. Now I'm going to arrow back and as we scroll down further, you can see the connectivity. And because Clarius uses direct Wi-Fi, you will not need to use the 
the Wi-Fi in your office. So as you can see, all of mine are turned off. And as I continue to scroll down, the last thing that I like to check is the screen calibration. As you read this, it says that the set setting of 12 is recommended. If yours is not on 12, you take your finger, touch the gray bar, and move the orange indicator to the 12. That will give you the best contrast resolution when you're scanning a patient. If you need more information about the settings, go to the Clarius support page at support.clarius.com.